is it possible to use the power of larger language models to use them to fine-tune smaller language models for specific use cases to make sure even with small language models we can get the same or even better performance compared to large language models but saving some money the answer is yes and it is called distillation which we're going to check in this video how we can enable that on OpenAI then let's go Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, let's get into distillation. Well, first of all, let's see what it is. I actually came across with very interesting opening a cookbook and thought that actually provide you walkthrough about this. So distillation is about how we can fine tune a smaller language models, which you know they are less expensive, but using larger language models. So what I'm going to do here, let's say, how can I have capabilities of GPT-40, which is greater than GPT-40 mini, but using that to fine tune GPT-40 mini for my use case, that its performance is going to be equivalent to GPT-40, which sounds crazy because now I can save 16 times more money. GPT-40 mini is 16 times almost uh, cheaper than GPT-40, but I can still get the same performance, which is great. So let me show you how I went through this code. I executed that and I found some very interesting results that are going to provide you walkthrough on this. And by the way, all these codes that I'm running is added in the Discord channel and the link of the channel is on video description below. You can go there and get the access. All right, so for this tutorial, you need to install OpenAI Tikton NumPy, Pandas, TQDM, all you need and make sure you add your opinion key, obviously. So here for this example, I'm using a sample of data set that include information about drinks, for example, the description of the drink, the designation, the price, province, and by the end of the day, the variety type of that um, drink, right? So let's say we have a use case. I want to use GPT-40 to ask GPT-40, if I give all this information about the drink, can it tell me the classification challenge of what is the type of the, the drink from the variety perspective? That's the goal, right? So let's do that. Um, so here are all, all different type of varieties of the drinks that I have that I want to do classification. And here I'm just prompting GPT-40 saying that, hey, this is all information about the drink. And here's list of all the drinks available. Tell me which one is that drink based on this given condition from the list of these lists a variety of drinks and then the answer is there for me but if we calculate the tokens here which what i did this is the total number of tokens i have in the data set and also of course of course i have the total number of prompts token and with the given pricing to the time that it was actually captured here for GPT-40 mini versus GPT-40, you'll see that, yeah, almost GPT-40 is 16 times more expensive than mini. So here's the question, does it worth to go with GPT-40? Yes, it's it's more accurate model, but let's see how we can increase the accuracy of GPT-40 with fine tuning that using GPT-40, which is the, uh, the larger model. So for making sure that we just get the variety type out of the prompt, not extra stuff. I am including a response format like this. And here, I'm going to actually do classification by GPT-40, which is my larger and better model. But I'm going to store all these responses and questions from the GPT-40. And when I say story call to true, it's going to go to my OpenAI dashboard that I'm going to show you. Why? Because when I have this question and the correct answer, which is the classification of the drink by GPT-4, oh, this is going to be my fine-tuning data set to use it to fine-tune my GPT-4 O mini. This is called distillation. That's why I'm having a metadata added so I can later on filter this data in my dashboard and it's getting stored to use it for uh, fine-tuning GPT-40. So that is technically what's happening. So here I have these two functions for process and go through all examples and create the data frame. Here's just one example. 
and after running this I wanted to check first of all making sure the data is captured in my dashboard or not which I'm going to show you uh, shortly but I did this with both GPT-40 and GPT-40 mini to see which one is better in this classification task as you can see GPT-40 as expected uh, the accuracy is 79 but GPT-40 mini is lower 69 so I wish I could have the same accuracy for GPT-40 but for mini so I can save money now before I do show you how I did the fine tuning to check this scenario out let me go to my uh, OpenAI dashboard. There you go. So if you go to OpenAI dashboard chat completions, and if I use the metadata tag that I specified in my code, which was distill distillation, wine distillation, you see these are all the questions and answers that I did for both 4.0 and 4.0 mini because I wanted to see the accuracy of them. But let's just see 4.0 answers. These are questions and answers or classifications being done by GPT-40, which is my better model. And I'm going to use it to fine-tune GPT-40 Mini. So because I filtered the model and also the data set, you can see system message, user, and the answer, which is the variety of type of the drink. I can just simply click on distill. That's it. So with using this data, I want to distill or fine-tune GPT-40 Mini. You can keep the rest as is by default, but you're more than welcome to uh, change that as needed. I clicked on create, and just after several minutes, I came here in the fine tuning. I saw that, oh, there's a fine tuning job created for me. And it was keep running, running, running until uh, after a while it got succeeded. So I copied this job ID going back to my code here. I pasted, uh, pasted the job ID here and I was able to get the status of this fine tuning job and when fine tuning job was done, I grabbed the model. Now this is my fine tuned GPT-40 mini model that was being fine tuned by, by the data set I created using GPT-40. So now I run the same thing. I wanted to check the accuracy this time with 40 mini which is fine tuned. If you remember the accuracy of 40 was 78 now mini was lower but with fine-tuned model of O mini accuracy is even better or close to GPT-40 which is amazing so technically what we did here we were able to beat the accuracy of GPT-40 and get something very close to that and even better but saving 16 times more because I'm just using GPT-40 mini so the idea here is again think about your use cases that you have maybe you are paying for a gigantic machine like GPT-40 but with just fine tuning a smaller model using a larger model you're gonna save some money but at the same time not sacrificing the accuracy all right I hope you enjoyed this video if yes I would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you share your thoughts questions comments or use case examples in the comments section and let community enjoy your thoughts there and that's all.